Hi Nick, glad to be interviewing you as a composer on the Mama Dance Music Library. It's the first time we've ever done a, 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 a formed interview. Yeah, thanks Craig, no, it's great to be here, it's great to have this discussion and um, co you know, conversations are where it's at. Pianism's your, your most recent release. Yeah. It's been described as elegant, minimal, flowing piano themes to create space, style and expansiveness, to calm and cleanse, to uplift and affirm, yet hinting at deeper, darker wells of emotion and intrigue. Can you uh, briefly describe the process of, of writing such emotive and uh, beautiful material? About 18 months ago, I, I just found myself very drawn towards our piano, which is a, a, we inherited, it's a Grotian Steinbeck, and uh, just a lot of pianistic material started coming out. And, and I'm quite a good librarian. Uh, if, I, if I come up with an idea, I, I'll put it onto something like this, you know, onto an MP3 recorder, make sure that I keep it, and then come and, and put it into digital format. And, and then work it, you know, I, I follow, in, a, in one sense I follow the muse and, um, and all I can say is that at, at a particular time the muse took me to, to the piano. We've been very impressed with, the, with, with, with how prolific you've been composing almost six albums in a, in a few years. Uh, does the creative energy required to, 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 to create so many different moods and emotions drain you? Not at all. I, I think um, it's it's quite the opposite. I mean, if I'm not creating new things, I I feel drained. I find in South Africa that that not many composers are that aware of of production music libraries, and and uh, it's such a valuable additional income stream. Why do you think more composers aren't composing for for production music libraries? There's been an explosion of media production. Mm -hmm. You know, with the, with with TV channels um, almost. Um, multiplying That's by right. exponential in an exponential way, more and more content is needed to to fill these these revenue streams. So uh, people are looking increasingly to production library. And I I mean most composers I know are are aware of all of these things. I wouldn't say there's these composers that are hiding in in an old paradigm. I mean every, everyone's aware that they're earning less money and that they need to find new ways. Has the composition of production music helped with uh, your original scoring uh, techniques? Undoubtedly, I think I think there's a, a strong relationship between scored uh, two picture and scored four picture approaches to music making. When you're given the space of creating production library music, uh, you do have a you do the, you do have a heuristic or a, a goal in mind, which is generally an agreed an agreed mood or an agreed theme, or an, uh, the, there are a number of ways that you can create a body of work that's um, that's united. You know, that's not too disparate. You know, the classical notion of the composer is some woolly genius who sits. And, and pause over massive manuscripts with lots and lots of ink and lots and lots of notes and then hands it to a conductor and then he hears what he's done. But it's very, very, it's a very different place we're at culturally now with, the, with, with digital workstations where we can hear immediately our ideas come back at us. We don't have to wait for the, the happy occasion of, of having the opportunity of, of, of an orchestra or mm. even a small ensemble playing your work. Mm. Thanks very much, that was great. Well, thank you, Craig. Um, hope the, hopefully we keep the conversation running. Yes, and we look forward to, to getting m many more albums from you and, uh, and uh, congratulations on your success with yeah. what's been done already. Thank you.